Hi, I'm Karen Brunger. I would like to share how to use the color dimension assessors. These are a tool to help identify someone's best palette, and I like to use them as a backup system. There are three dimensions to color, undertone, value, and intensity. The assessors are red on one side and green on the other. There are nine variations of each color. I will demonstrate how to use the assessors on me. You can use the assessors underneath the face. I like using them alongside the face because then I can check the skin, the hair, and the eyes. This is the undertone assessor. Undertone refers to cool or warm. And when a color is more cool, it has more blue. When a color is more warm, it has more yellow. In the middle, we have the colors that are more balanced in undertone, which we could also call medium undertone or neutral. So to assess my undertone, we can start with the end that I'm least likely to be, which is warm, and we just slide it along the face. And as we move it along, you can see that it gets better and better and better. And I am quite cool in my undertone. I am right up here. So if there are nine variations, I'm about number eight. If we check undertone with the greens, we can do the same thing, start with the warm and move down. And again, we can see that I am much better in the colder colors. So because I am cool, both on the red and in the green, you know that I have a cool undertone. So I would be in one of the cool categories. If you use a seasonal analysis, I'm in the, either a summer or a winter category because I'm so cool. Uh, there's no way for me to flow to a warm palette because these colors in the middle are not my best. The cooler ones are best. So that makes me a summer or a winter. The second dimension we assess is value. Value refers to light and dark. Light is how much white is added, dark is how much black is added. So we call this high value and low value. Now, of course, most people will be a combination of values because we can have different values for our hair, our skin, and our eyes. So I like checking at least the, both the hair and the eyes. So on me, if we check the value of my hair, you can see that it is pretty much medium value. So this is much too dark. For me and of course I'm not really light in my hair I'm really in the middle so medium value hair my skin on the other hand you can see is quite high value it's quite light somewhere in this category here and again we can show with the greens and the same thing my hair is in the middle here and my skin is at the higher end here so because my value is high to medium of the two cool palettes that would put me in the summer category because in order to be a winter i would need to have hair that is quite dark or low value the third dimension we assess is intensity intensity refers to how bright a color is or how muted when a color is very bright it's saturated and then as we add gray it gets more and more muted or more toned down so these are called tones in the middle is medium intensity so if we compare this on me, we start with a high intensity and move up. And we can see that as we get lower and lower in intensity, it gets better and better and better and better. And I'm quite low in my intensity. And we can do the same with the green side. And we move along and we see that as we get more muted, it does get better and better. And again, I'm somewhere in here. So because my intensity is quite low, that places me again, puts me, it reinforces that I'm in the summer palette because summers are low intensity, whereas winters are high intensity. If I was somewhere in the middle here in my intensity, then I could possibly be a flow, a cool flow between summer and winter. But I'm here, so that makes me a true summer. For the dimension assessors and other color analysis tools, you can check out my website, imageconsultantproducts.com.